Hey guys, we are back for vlog 54. Now, I have just come up with an idea, and I think it's a pretty amazing idea actually. Uh, to keep all the, the presents exciting and interesting to hand out, I'm going to register people's interest and I'm going to put them up onto this board. I'm obviously going to rub this board out. But if, for example, if anybody comes into chat and they want to register their interest, I'll spin the wheel. Then we'll clear the board and we'll go again. So every single time I hand out a present, I'll just be refilling this board. When it lands on a name, um, you know, present gets selected by the viewer. The viewer gets to choose whatever present they want. And ta-da. That'll be under the tree. What I did is organized games, VIP, store mounts, uh, store pads, and the two Blizzard uh, Epic Editions of War Within. I've already organized all that, all the each individual presents. Uh, and total, it's about, it's 43 presents. I haven't got the funds to afford any more than 43 presents. That's the long and short of this vlog, but that's the best that I can give with the financial situation that I have. So 43 gifts is all I can hand out. And well, tomorrow there'll only be seven days till Christmas that we'll leave. So I'll be heading out six presents per day starting tomorrow, which means I have a big workload. It's like an air is stuck in my throat when I'm trying to talk. I do have the presents organized, it just needs to be uh, written on the cards and then organized. The first one got done on that vlog, that's all I've done, I haven't done any more than that. In terms of exercise, an update on weight loss progress, I'm at 104.8, so we're still achieving our goals as well. Uh, and you know what falling off the wagon a little bit with walking isn't a big deal because it doesn't mean I'm giving it up it just means that I can hop back on the wagon and then keep going along my journey because at the end of the day for me it's all about the journey and not the destination the fact that you guys are here watching this video right now because you want to be a part of this journey, this transformation. And the energy that I have to give is endless. Like, I had a little bit of a, an argument with, you know what family are like. And I thought for sure that was going to bring my mood down today. And I was like, nah, I don't care enough. I really just don't care enough to, uh, you know, bring my mood down because what I want to be is so much greater than what I, uh, what I am being made to feel like, if that makes sense. So while I may not walk today or I may not walk tomorrow, that's an or, I don't know for sure. I will still have these presents that I need to wrap and starting tomorrow, I need to get viewers to start choosing these presents. Uh, it's really important because the longer I delay, the more presents I have to wrap per day. So I'd rather do it at around six presents per day. That seems like a feasible, it seems like a very manageable and attainable goal to wrap six presents a day. And uh, by the end of it all, we'll be hitting around 42. So just on the last day, I'll just wrap one more present. Now. I'll be opening these during a short stream on Christmas if the viewer is present obviously if they are present on the stream at the time I will open it for them if they've requested to be open otherwise it's just gonna stay wrapped up until the viewer requests uh, to have their present unwrapped and you know like I said there will be two epic editions of War Within <laughs> it's such an I like saying Legion, or Cataclysm, or why did it, why did this get something that slips off the tongue so much easier than the War Within? 
I don't know what made them go for that. It's so annoying, but I'm getting off on a tangent here, but it is what it is. Anyway, in terms of exercise, I did jack shit, didn't do anything. Uh, but that can be fixed and rectified by being really energetic on stream and uh, have my daily coffee. I didn't do my exercise physiologist exercises, which I should be doing every day. Ran out of time, just don't have the time. Uh, but I did organize 43 presents. So that is the majority takeaway from this video and a nice short one. So thank you everybody for watching uh, vlog 54. And don't forget to check out vlog 55. Maybe I'll show some fast forwarded footage of me just wrapping up presents. And uh, hopefully I don't give away too much information of what's in what box. But you do still have to go through this process and landing on it. And obviously viewers who have selected a present. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get their name uh, on this board. So there should be enough space. Mine wants to be really weird right now. So there should be enough space on this board to write 43 names. So no, the same viewer will not get another present. I will make sure of that. So there should only be one present per viewer. And hopefully it goes well. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And if the presents aren't as high value as, you know, they're gonna be like, they're, they're a gift. You know, I, there's just only so much money that I have and I don't really have much. And uh, I don't wanna pretend like I, I do have a lot. The fact is, I just wanna make Christmas special for everybody. If you miss out on a present, I do apologize. I only have 43 to give. And uh, that's the best I've got. Like I said, if you like this video, like it, or well, don't forget to like it. And uh, if you have any comments about what other gifts that I could potentially fill in, uh, for example, I'll, I'll take your, um, you can play with me for an hour, maybe something like that. But the reason why I steered away from gifts like that is because um of blizzard's pay to win structure and well you're not necessarily paying anything um to do anything and and if you did win this present essentially i could pick you but then you can argue logistics and say oh well he had a sub on your channel it's like well no he won it from the spin wheel and i just want to minimalize all the shenanigans that i have to go through and processes like i already had two emotes deleted from Twitch because my eggplant rubbing emote, which is a funny one that people like to use, um, it got reported. And I think that was by a viewer, um, a viewer of mine or a viewer that got offended by it. But eggplant rubbing, and it was for buttocks, uh, display, orgasm, and bodily fluids. It was just a, an eggplant with you know, like, you know, pet, pet the streamer remote, but on an eggplant. And that's what I did and I thought it was funny. Uh, anyway, obviously it does look a little bit sexualized, but it's not the fucking purpose of the emote. It just was really funny rubbing an eggplant, but that one got deleted and uh, it's kind of like a violation. And then another emote that I had, uh, the spinning eggplant, just like tossing an eggplant across. Okay, so eggplant, eggplant in motion, just rotating. Apparently, that rotating eggplant was also uh, a violation of Twitch's sexualized term. So, <sighs> whatever. Um, I got no words for that one. That's the same thing. It's an eggplant. Get your fucking mind out of the fucking gutter, Twitch. Holy shit. <sighs> anyway. 
whatever. Um, I think this video is dragged on a little bit too long. Thank you everybody for watching. Again, appreciate you. I'll see you on 55. And uh, yeah, bye for now.